But before we get to that, we're going to start off with uh, new details we're learning today about a former military recruiter charged with rape. Good evening and thanks for watching. I'm John Gray. And I'm Lydia Colbita. It was more than six months ago when authorities in Washington County first accused Robert Haas of rape. Since then, we've learned of more local victims coming forward. Uh, now there will be uh, three trials on various charges for Haas and county prosecutors telling News and ABC disturbing new details on this case against him for the very first time. Amy Cutler, live in Washington County, dedicated to finding out the latest on this. Amy? John, that's right. Disturbing new details. Haas will face three separate uh, three separate trials, rather, two in Washington County and a third in Warren County. But authorities say this remains an active investigation and that there still could be more victims out there. Ask any military personnel. I mean, they swear an oath to serve and protect. That's exactly what former Sergeant First Class Robert Haas did. But authorities say the longtime Army National Guard recruiter didn't follow his oath. He's accused of raping two women and strangling a third. Washington County District Attorney Tony Jordan says one of the victims didn't even know she was sexually assaulted, that Haas drugged her. The evidence to prove that, Jordan says they found a video of Haas raping her. That video was recovered along with thousands of photos. One of the things that has actually helped in terms of trying to identify potential crimes has been this significant catalog of images that were secured through the Sheriff's Department. Haas was arrested back in April. Authorities say he met his victims through his position as a military recruiter. Jordan tells us it was also online through various dating websites. In the weeks that followed that initial arrest, authorities raided his storage unit in Glens Falls. They say they found an unregistered handgun illegal assault rifle, stun gun, and brass knuckles. We would have to ask him what his goal, what his mission was, but certainly uh, that appears to be part of it, um, and it all appears to be, you know, boiled down to an abuse of power. Jordan says Haas only worked in our area most recently in Water of Elite for 10 months. He was also stationed in Arkansas and Texas. Now, the Washington County Sheriff's Department also tells me that it is working with police agencies in several states and says new charges could be added against Haas as more victims come forward. For the time being, though, he remains behind bars. Live in Fort Edward, I'm Amy Cutler for News 10 ABC.